a pioneer in every aspect. Over her 30-year career at NASA, Katherine Johnson broke boundaries and helped push the limits of human achievement. Growing up in West Virginia in the 1920s, Johnson was obsessed with maths, saying she counted everything that could be counted. Her genius pushed her ahead at school and ultimately led to her being the first black woman to attend West Virginia University's postgraduate school. In June 1953, she started analyzing flight test data at the National Advisory Committee for Aeronautics, eventually moving to NASA after its creation. But despite looking at space, NASA was still grounded by the reality of 1960s America. Separated from all white co-workers, Johnson worked with pen and paper on groundbreaking mathematics. In 1962, she was personally asked for by astronaut John Glenn to manually double-check computer calculations for his orbital mission. Her mathematical prowess also contributed to the Apollo 11 moon landing, her calculations helping to cinch the lunar module with the command module. Johnson always said that she was too busy with her work to be concerned with racism. Catherine G. Johnson refused to be limited by society's expectations of her gender and race while expanding the boundaries of humanity's reach. Her innovative work was largely unknown by the wider public until recent years. In 2015, Barack Obama awarded her America's highest civil honor, the Presidential Medal of Freedom. You have to see what she becomes. Her life was immortalized in the 2016 Oscar-nominated film Hidden Figures. NASA's chief called her an American hero whose pioneering legacy will never be forgotten.